the man who wanted us dead. I guess we could call that a win. What do you think? Hello everyone, and welcome back to a slightly strange opening. Uh, Wolves just spoke to us as soon as we got in the ship. I was actually gonna get in the ship and then do the intro, but hey, we got the artifact last time, that's all that matters. I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? For Neon standards, that went better than we had any right to expect. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> Yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. Oh, and yeah, now we get Fiscal Quarter, which is a, I mean, it's a maelstrom, which kind of sucks. Because, yeah, that's, that's the same damage as the cutter. But, a, I mean, this is 76 fire rate. I suppose the fire rate is actually quite fast on this, but I'm guessing, yeah, it's got a hair trigger, that's why. The fire rate is so high, but yeah, it's it's not bad. Shattering means it gets through the armor, and armor piercing round. So I'm guessing, yeah, armor means nothing. It's not like terrible, but um, you will have hopefully seen my video last week where I fixed all the legendaries, or not fixed all the legendaries, fixed all the uniques and made them legendary and made them actually like really good and stuff, rather than what this is like, which yeah is worse than just the random drops you get in the game. But anyway, that quest is apparently done, and yeah, we're gonna head off. Uh, is there a bed in this place? So I think there is. Like uh, maybe not. Yeah, we're just gonna head off, and let me let me through. Let me, let me through, Walter. Walter. There we go. Yep, yeah, we're gonna head off, get in the pilot's seat, leave Neon, and I believe we need to head back to the lodge. So yeah. So man, bounty under spacesuit does look pretty cool. I need to spend some time like getting used to what the different spacesuits and stuff look like. Because some of them Jeep's really ready. do look awesome. Getting on your word, Captain. And there we go. Take off from Neon, and boy, we get real close to hitting Neon. I don't get why you wouldn't have the ship facing the other way around. It seems a lot safer than otherwise. Oh. dance among the stars. Um, you're being real quiet. That's not any type of ship I recognize. Okay, that was a, yeah, a very quiet ship. Uh, how about you identify yourselves and speak up a bit this time? The fact that you do not know says much. We are the Starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. Starborn, huh? Humans are worthy. We're worthy. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. Okay, that seems a bit like a fret, but yeah, how about you tell us a bit more about who you are? The more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. Alright, and yeah, you, you can apparently jettison the artifact, which I don't know why you do, because yeah, you can just get out of here. We'll get through this. Hold on! And it's not like it's super difficult, because yeah, it's... Oh, it's grab jump to anywhere. But yeah, to the lodge makes the most sense. Wait, can I just immediately land there? I can! Normally they'll attack you, but apparently if you're fast enough, you can just fast travel away. That's... that's kind of ludicrous. I, I was actually going to do an example of like, oh, well, even at one bar of a grav drive, they can't destroy your ship quickly enough. But yeah, they, they were able to do absolutely nothing. Although, annoyingly, I landed at the... Uh, I want to go to the lodge. Yeah, annoyingly it landed me at the spaceport rather than the lodge, but 
yeah, that was easy. All right, time to tell everyone about the Star Wars and what happened over there. Also, can I... Yeah, let's add the artifact. Is it going to react? There we go. It joins with the others, lovely. Uh, Noel, I've got some info for you. How is Neon? Are you... Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I need you to look at the data from my ship sensors. Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Okay, and it looks like we're going to have a little meeting at the lodge, which means we get to see if this pretty is little that, table... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. And now everyone is going to gather around, albeit quite slowly. Oh, and really, Sarah? Action vessel or crimson fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Starborn. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Uh, yeah. Um... No, I'm going to be with Sam there. The design not easily made by humans yet, but I don't know. I'm just going to click randomly. No settled systems lab made these things, and I doubt one of them made that ship either. So we got some weird extra-dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. I'm not so sure about that. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can, including some way to fight them if necessary. Until then, we stay the course, collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. Yep, and um, the only way to learn more is to keep going. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. Can we get a moment? Cool. We so talk? that's... Wait, I already added the artifact. Okay. <laughs> cool. I just had to activate it still. And oh, we get more consolation stuff. The calib calibrated helmet, which is much worse than the Mantis one. But it is a decent weight to value ratio, at least. And yeah, it's going to be time to talk to Vladimir. And boy, everyone at Constellation is just like constantly wanting to talk to you. Which, yep, everyone wants to chat, but no, we're focusing here. Vlad. Oh, One too many squats. Okay. You had a hell of a shake getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. I'm all up for finding more artifacts. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. Perfect. Uh, do I need to sell some stuff? Let me check my inventory. I've actually got quite a bit of carry capacity. So yeah, it's just time to head off to... 
either of these, probably Procyon 2 first. I've flown over to Procyon 2 and oh dear, would you look at that. Yeah, there's, oh jeez, okay, there's one off over this way which I didn't notice. Um, okay, well, the shield skill is working. Oh wait! They're spinning up the drives! Okay, I'm gonna try and actually destroy this ship. There we go. That got piloting up. But yeah, the rest of them are... Oh, even that... Well, that one grav drive the uh, stuff there. Yeah, we're in the Mantis ship, so... Sometimes people are just like, Oh, that's done. Hey, hey, merchant, are you happy we saved you? I thought we were dead. But, uh, those spacers were terrified. I can't believe it. We were saved by the Mantis. Everybody keeps going on about this Mantis. Who the hell is the Mantis? And we've got to do the fancy voice here. I am the ghost story that strikes terror in spaces of the Crimson Fleet alike. I can't remember what the Mantis voice actually sounds like. Or if you even know, so let's go with that one. Okay. I, I can't believe it. You're just like how I imagined you. So is it customary to give the Mantis some sort of reward? The Mantis never takes a reward. Bless you, sir. Uh, Ma'am, I can't believe we were rescued by you. Wait, so this is free? You both gotta be pulling my leg here. Uh, yeah, there are options to get some, but yeah, your friend is right. The righteous act is my only reward. This has gotta be the weirdest day. Oh, man, classic Mantis. Well then, thank you, Mantis. Ship's repaired. We'll be heading out. Excellent, yeah, so we actually saved them, and also we did get a rank of piloting, which I'm pretty sure... Oh, does get to the second rank, which is one I definitely want. Wow, I've got more skill points than I realised. Um, You know what, I can also upgrade this as well to make the shields even better. We could get extra stuff too, repairing better. Oh, robotics doesn't seem terrible. Man, there's... I'm not actually going to be doing as much ship combat as I first envisioned, so... Starting to think maybe I should go into combat, because that's a lot more helpful. And physical, some of this is pretty good. Like, just extra max health is not bad at all. You know what, yeah, let's get a rank of wellness. And I'll think uh, over what other stuff to get. I still need to check comments to see what suggestions were. But the suggestions were very mixed on the couple of comments I got, so... Yeah, I'll have to think about it. Alrighty, we are planet side, and it looks like, yeah, we got a decent way to go. Oh, and this is what we actually look like while fully geared up. You know what, the Mantis helmet isn't actually bad with other stuff. The, uh, the pack isn't great, being white and just really glaringly bright, but that's not bad. I am... Man, I'm kind of hoping that because there's a skin section, that Bethesda will do the right thing and just let us customise our skins a bit like you can with, a. Uh... You can customise ships, obviously and make them different colours. If they could add a skin customization thing like that, that'd be lovely. But I have a bad feeling it's just going to be, you know, microtransaction skin packs or whatever. But we'll wait and see. Oh dear. Okay, there's some pirates here. Okay, got it. I'm not supposed to be here. Fully understood. <laughs> Let me... Oh, explorers. What's that? I don't know what effect is making this an explorers one, but hey, that's worthwhile me picking up. And, alright, that's all good. I'm going to loot the ammo and then head inside what appears to be like a little pirate-filled cave facility thing. So this is a deserted UC listening post. And, yeah, I'm going to need to ooh, get through here. <laughs> Which means killing plenty of Crimson Fleet, who are, wow, well, real low-level ones, apparently. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping that Sam's going to help out on this. Lovely. Oh, you're gonna yep, blow up. Got to be careful about that. A lot of the pirates will just blow up on you. I can use a workout. Y you did nothing, Sam. Sam's being so useless. Like, ow! Jeez, what the hell was that? Oh, it's you, someone who clearly has a fancy weapon. Yeah. Okay, let's do that, and that actually boosts up medicine, so we can get the next rank. Cool, cool, cool. And then yeah, let's continue just wrecking face there. 
The one it also boosts wellness as well, doesn't it? Because wellness means we're getting more stuff. Okay. We got rid of the big nasty one. Can I... I can't quite hit that. Oh, and wellness actually, yeah, heal 200 damage is done. Let's get another rank of that. Because there's going to be a lot of on-ground combat just as part of the main story. So figure it makes some sense to, uh, there we go, to help out with that. And I really should be doing the sensible thing of, oh, Delgado's directive. It was this it you were hitting me with? Oh, it's got white hot rounds. That's what happened there. Never mess with the cold. Yeah. I'm gonna, oh, blast you up. Gonna try and avoid the looting until we've actually cleared this section. Because, yeah, it makes sense to do it this way around. And I, yeah, it doesn't look like we're dealing with anything super crazy strong just yet. So let's just see if I can't... Okay, you're apparently just going to drop down there. Okay, perfect. You're down. Okay, that one wasn't too powerful. Oh. Let's... Well, I just said I'm going to try and avoid looting until that time. Uh, I want a poor melee. I do feel bad for all the melee enemies. I feel more bad for the people who are trying to play melee in the game currently, because it's... It's not particularly strong, unfortunately. But oh, and here's a Starborn. Oh no! Like the Starborn is over here, and they're floating up in the sky a bit. They are a lot of them have like invisibility, which is actually quite strong. As you can tell, like level thirty, this is a pretty tough enemy. So let me just yep get back out of here. Sam, where where are you? This is where I could use the extra DPS and Sam's just vanished once again. It's not particularly helpful, you know. Let's see if I can't just... Oh, is the Star Wars staying back there? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, the... Okay, at least it's not healing up. That's a good thing. Hey, and Sam's oh, teleported works. forward. That's good. Let's do a bit of that, a bit of that and then make you float in the air so you're completely incapacitated. Do you want to chat? No, apparently you don't want to chat. I'm only dealing one damage a hit while they're floating in the air, though. I'm not sure what that's about. Let's smack them a few times. And then lovely. And I gain a quantum essence for that, which uh, lets you recharge your blue bar in the bottom right a bit faster. The game doesn't tell you it does that, but that is what it does. Uh, and here's Artifact Fater. Lovely stuff. So yeah, I will now loot this facility and then we'll head off to the next planet. Alrighty, that outpost was cleared and yep, Sam's always got stuff on his mind. I'm, man, I started when first playing this game, I was like, I love all the followers, I love getting to talk to them. But because they're constantly like badgering you like, hey, I want to talk, just... Yeah, I'm starting to go off them a little bit. I still think they're decent characters, but there are plenty of times where I just don't want to talk to them, where they're still like, no, let's have a conversation. And I'm, uh, I'm not a big fan of that. Alright, looks like we've got the artifact to find. Is it going to give me... It's not giving me directions. I'm not sure if I need to go through this place, or if I can just bypass part of it. Because I've been to... Yeah, I've been to this specific outpost before. As, you know, one of... after a while you get used to all of the different, like, randomly generated things. I, uh, unfortunately, there's not quite as much variety as you might enjoy. So, yeah, these Varun Zealots are actually kind of nasty to deal with as well. Oh! <laughs> I forgot I was in scanner mode, and if I hit melee in scanner mode, I get this. Um, you know what, I'm going to take a quick shot of it, though, because that's just funny. Alright, there we go. One quick shot of that. And... Then let's smack you so you go down, which is what I was actually trying to do. And ooh, some actual, yeah, reasonably fancy stuff on these Varun uh, get bags. Okay, let's see if I can't just throw that in there as well. Oh, you're right there. Okay, I'm just going to blast you so you get away and smack you a bit. And let's unlock this door as well, because it's always good to have the doors open. So I'm guessing, will this take me down? 
Yes, excellent. This takes me down, and oh, heat leeches must die. Heat leeches must die. There we go. Heat leech is dead, and into the my bridge caverns, I guess. Once I've looted this, oh, very fancy looking Orion. Oh, there's, there's always just so much stuff to be looting. Only with an old earth pistol, they're always good to get. Uh, yeah, let's actually head inside. All right, in here, and yep, there we go. <laughs> you will get followed through doors. Um, you've got to get used to that, I find. But it's all good, because, man, Sam is really, really not doing great here. Also, these little things, you've got to be careful of them. I found, like, ooh, energy resistance. I'll actually use that. Uh, where, where, where? Creature jam. Yeah. I'm very much looking forward to once we get the, like, first proper big update to this game, which I think is going to add the whole, uh... <laughs> press a button in order to smack in order to eat food oh okay you're just proving to be a problem so yeah let's there we go anti-grab you and then blast you to bits there we go <laughs> I was gonna say are you actually gonna die there for me yeah the rune spacesuits and stuff they're pretty solid but I swear every time I get them I've, like, just started getting something better. Obviously with the Mantis gear and stuff, that changes things, but... Varun gear always seems good, but never quite good enough. Right, and now it's just a case of running through this cavern, killing the rest of the room we find, and getting this little artifact. Unfortunately, this is a very low-grav planet. It's 0 0.3. Yeah, that is lovely. Wait, are there even any more Varun left? Apparently not, no. I can literally just blast my way to this. Oh, there we go, Starborn. Oh yeah, you weren't expecting me to have reactive, were you? Lovely. We can just, yeah, really blast you apart here. Oh, why am I taking so much damage? Oh, I must have had like a damage over time effect. Well, that's not great. Let's, uh, let's rank up wellness again. Get even more max HP. Wellness works really well with medicine. Because medicine is... Well, actually, I can have to show you the inventory thing. Uh, but yeah, it, healing is like a percentage of what you need. Also, yeah, I've actually got... Uh, I've got bleeding right now, which I picked up on the past planet just as an environmental thing. So let's actually get rid of that. Or burns, sorry. Burns I had. Which, yeah, don't really want. Because that was not helping me out against these actually reasonably tough Starborn. And um, while you're fighting, let's just take Artifact Tau. <laughs> just, you know, in the middle of the firefight, pick up this artifact, space out for a minute. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. <laughs> this all seems perfectly safe. Lovely stuff. Got the artifact. And... Smack. Smack. Lovely. You also can't loot them, but you get the loot menu for like a second, and it bugs me every time. Uh, and am I able to just head straight back? Oh, it looks like I'm just able to head straight back to the lodge, so let's do that. Or, oh no, I can't. It's just telling me I can go there. Alright, I'm gonna loot this outpost again. Yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of looting, and then I will make it back to um the lodge to hand in these artifacts. Alrighty, Anything back to the lodge, and let's just deposit these artifacts. Look at how far we've come. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The Starborn, the artifact visions, the music. Was it all worth it? Mateo, are you having a crisis of faith? You? What if the Starborn are right? What if our hunt for the artifacts is a fool's errand, doomed to failure and catastrophe? You think we're doing the wrong thing? We just want answers. Isn't that why we all joined in the first place? The noble quest of discovery? Uh, yeah, no, that's right. We can't abandon who we are now. Chasing down this mystery is what Constellation was made for. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame either of you. Blame the workings of a worried mind. I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us into something that we wouldn't recognize from where we are now. Hate to interrupt. But I have a favor to ask. Lot of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts further out, we need work done. 
Got the nods and signs from Sarah and Walter for the materials, but I need hands. Yeah, oh, I'm happy to help out with that. Sounds easy enough. Won't be going alone. Need more than just the you and I. Ask around. A few constellations are already on their way up. Okay, that's a... Oh, bonus! That's from leveling up. <laughs> Excellent, another level got. And yeah, gonna need to go to BI. And everyone wants to discuss with me because they all love me and think I'm great. And there's also power from beyond where, yeah, I could pick up a couple of extra powers. But for now, we are gonna head to BI and fix the things up there. Because that's a quick thing to do just as we finish up. Here we are, up on the eye, and it's time to check in on everyone. Uh, Cora apparently is obsessed with welding. Cool, cool, cool. Barrett, how are you doing, buddy? Just hit the computer over there. I need to be watching on my end. If you could just give my ingenious software a test run. Okay, so Barrett wants us to test some software, and there we go. He is actually going to get out of the way now. Grab a couple of wrenches and let's tighten this equipment down. Alright, and Sarah wants me to grab some wrenches. Uh, yeah, I don't know why Barrett is still doing that, but hey, here's the wrenches. Use that, pick up a wrench, and help Sarah tighten up the new equipment around the room. Lovely stuff. Uh, ba ba I don't know what Barrett is up to, but apparently he's just leaving now. Hey, you mind helping me weld up some of these panels? Uh, I'm just coming up here. Sure, uh, you set up a weld and quickly seal the panel shut. Lovely stuff. Okay, Andresia, what do you need? If you could help me install these parts. This scanning equipment needs to be installed. I could use your help. Oh, box of parts. Just assemble it all. Nice and simple. I think we are done. Thank you. Lovely. Just helping everyone out. And, uh... Yeah, Barrett is... Barrett's just gone on the ship. Well, that's not super helpful. Um... <laughs> <laughs> He's just gone to the ship. Barry's just gone on the ship for some reason. I guess because he's one of the crew members, but he's supposed to be out here. Like Barrett, what are you, what are you just doing, buddy? Over there. I need to be watching on my end. Yeah, which means you need to be you back there. Give my ingenious software a test. Okay. Uh, also, yeah, something I haven't done is actually loot the area because. Oh yeah, that's not even terrible. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I've not looted this ship yet, but you do actually get a bunch of stuff on the Mantis' ship. Unlike most ones you built yourself, it's just got a ton of weapons and armor already here. So I'm gonna loot these and then see what happens with Barrett? I mean, I guess what I can do is just dismiss him from the crew for now. So, nope, can't do that. Hmm. Well, huh, let's let's head back inside and see if we can find the computer, I guess. Ah, okay, here we go. Here is the computer. So let's just do this. Test connection. Uh, unexpected error. It wasn't me. Okay, Vlad, that... Oh, that's not good. Sparks on a computer are very, very bad. Hmm? Oh, sorry. I was just doing some math in my head. Trade the gabs with you. You call it the wrong wires. Station showing red. Yeah, there was some kind of problem with the repairs Barrett and I made. But it wasn't me. Invoking the guilty creed. Station's old. Fixes won't be done in a day's end, though. Knew I should have fixed that faulty code when we worked on it the first time, Vlad. My past comes back to me once again. I can stick around until it's sorted. No need for the martyr's clothes, but I'm happy to have the help. As for you, while we're giving the eye the sorts, need to tip your ear on another matter when you got the time. And lovely, yep, that is the easiest quest out there. You also get a bunch of resources which aren't helpful for me, but if you're crafting, they are helpful. And yeah, we're gonna need to talk to Vlad for the next quest, but that will be next episode, so um... Tomorrow, actually, because these are now a triple bill. But yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, do leave a like. Make sure you're subscribed for more Starfield content. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Sarge out.